What's up guys, David Wanted 797 here and in this video I'm just going to unbox and show you the SanDisk Ultra Plus 256GB SSD. I just picked this up from PC Case Gear for uh, $199 um, plus postage it was about $220. So I'm going to be putting this into my MacBook Pro, Just it's my first SSD, get some nice speeds. I'm just going to unbox it and then run some benchmarks just so you can see what it's like. So first of all... Tab here. Okay, so this SSD, um, I think its write speeds are up in the write speeds in 400s, reads in 5s. Um, that's everything. It says on the front here that. It's SATA 3 with 6 gigabits per second. It includes a spacer for some laptops that have a larger hard drive bay. Um, delivers great performance for gaming and video experience. I will be using it for video and faster boot and shutdown time. I'll also show you a bit of a comparison compared to my current MacBook Pro's original hard drive. So that's the spacer. But of course, we all want to know what this looks like. Tray. Oh wow, I did see this sticker as a problem in other videos. I managed to miss a bit. So there we go, there it is, that's the actual hard drive. I have seen a video that pulls this apart and it's actually only about this big, so most of this casing is just for putting it into a laptop. And this is the spacer, so if, because this drive is only 7 millimeters thick, um, some hard drive bays in laptops are a lot, lot thicker, and you might need to put the spacer on it to prevent it from moving around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up and get it all transferred with my Mac, and then we'll be able to do a comparison and see um, how much it improves and what the benchmarks are. Okay, so I've turned the MacBook Pro off and I'm just going to do a quick boot test. Just This is still with the old hard drive. I'm just going to compare once I have the solid state in. So I'm going to time this with my phone in here and I'm going to push the button and start at the same time. Still haven't got the dock. There we go. So almost two minutes to boot on a standard hard drive. Okay, so now once now that it's turned back on, what I'm gonna do is just do some basic benchmarks. Um, I'm going to use Blackmagic speed test and just find out the speed of the current hard drive. So this is the original 320 gigabyte that came with the MacBook Pro. This is an early 2011. 13 inch model. I think we might have jumped the gun too soon there. on the right speeds it almost reached 40 megabytes per second on the reads it's hitting about 50 and this time around it's hitting 50 on the writes and about 40 on the reads oh.
So it's getting about 60 megabytes read and write. Okay, so the laptop has backed up now. Um, I basically just put in the SSD. That was a task and a half because the original screws, as you may have seen me point out in the video, um, were pentalobular on the original hard drive from the MacBook Pro. And I don't have that screwdriver, but I managed to get them out with a set of pliers. Um, so it's now up and running. I just restored from my time machine backup and it seemed it's it's definitely a lot faster i'll give you an idea i'll run the same um black magic speed test that i did before now with an ssd okay so that write speed is getting at 400 megabytes per second 402 while reads are at 495 so that's actually a bit higher i think to what the packaging suggests I don't have it up at the moment so the other test I wanted to do was we did I did the boot test before so I'll just run that now so we're going to shut the computer down stopwatch here you see the difference in boot time last time it was one minute 50 okay so it's completely shut down okay Twenty two seconds that time. So that that's that's a good minute and a half shaved off um, from the boot time and we'll just see opening up Chrome. So so that's about it for this video. Um, I will put a link in the description on what the what hard drive I actually picked up or solid state driver picked up and thanks for watching.